The grey and sandy man chase is next. This is a four miler. And we've only got a very small field as well. Savignon Seasons is the top one for Ryan Costello. Catching over hassle for Thomas Rogers. Last suspect, Grand, Clus uh, Grand Clutterbuck. Southern Spectrum, Alex Cherry. Plainly dangerous, Martin Leland. Pampalone flagship, Alex Cherry. And Opus Safari, Ryan Costello. So just seven of them then over four miles. And we have had a hundred fences in this, I think, because they just they just jumped 16 in a two miler. So they're already over the first. And they're going to take 30. So it's... It's like a mini Grand National, isn't it? And I'm sure we'll lose a few on the way around as they get to their second. We've seen quite a few fallers in these hunters today. And Savinian Seasons and Opus Safari, the two Ryan Costello horses, are showing the way to catch it over Hassel in third with Southern Spectrum in fourth. And then Last Suspect, Plainly Dangerous, and Pampalone flagship. So you could chuck a blanket over them, couldn't you, at the moment? We've got seven runners in this and two trainers are double handed. So We'll be hoping to play a part in the finish as they make their way towards the next and we'll get this close-up action shot of them as they come into this next one it's good when you've got a small field like this you can get in really close and see what's going on and you can see that Savinian Seasons and Opus Safari are the first two very similar looking horses in the same colours and we can see the numbers on them so it's easy to tell which one's which today. And catching over Hassel is third. And Plainly Dangerous is fourth. And the two Alex Cherry horses are next. He's got a black horse in Southern Spectrum and a bay one with a four white socks in Pampalone flagship. And then the third black horse in the race. And obviously three black horses in the race. And his last suspect, the back marker, obviously named after the 85, I think it was Grand Dash Daughter, as they get over number five. Savinian Seasons is in the lead. But the ditchless ditch, it's set up like a ditch that fence, but it doesn't appear to be a ditch there as they come down to this next plain one. And they're all so to be over that one as well. Plainly dangerous, jumped in nicely on the outside. I suppose a lot of these would have been uploaded with the Grand National in mind, especially considering Last Suspect's name, but they'll be probably not heading for that particular race if they're qualifying for these under 100. Handicaps because ooh, a mistake there by the horse in second, Opus Safari. Because if they do, they'll be running a mile out of the handicap called Grand National Time, unless, of course, they suddenly burst into form over the coming weeks. And Opus Safari has decided he doesn't really enjoy the jumping too much today. And he's now had two mistakes on the trot and has dropped right back to last. But his stable mate, Civilian Seasons, is happy enough bowling along in the lead through the rain. With Plainly dangerous second and catching over Hassel third. And the Alex Cherry pit as they get to the next. All safely over that one and Opus Safari is now getting back on an even keel and has moved back up into fourth again. So still a long way to go. Still a lot of jumping to be done. They've done 10 of the 30 so far as they pass the winning post with another couple of circuits to go. And Civilian Seasons is in the lead by about three lengths to plainly dangerous in second. As they get down to number 11. Uh, one or two slow jumps there and a mistake by Southern Spectrum at the back. But they're all still on their feet. And Civilian Seasons takes that ditch well. So too is the second place horse. Plainly dangerous. Catching over Hassel. is in third. Then last suspect and Pampalone flagship Opus Safari. And finally Southern Spectrum is the back marker. As they continue onward. They take this sharp turn. And they race down towards the next of the fences with Savinian Seasons in the lead, having led all the way so far. Leads by a good three, three lengths, possibly a little bit more. And Plainly Dangerous is second, a similar sort of distance ahead of catching over Hassel as they take that next one. Then Last Suspect and then Opus Safari and finally Pampalone Flagship and Southern Spectrum, the two Alex Cherry horses at the back. But a long way to go and they can see everything they've got to pass in front of them. And it's Savinian Seasons. Now races downhill into this next fence in the lead. Jumped it well, got away from it well. Five lengths clear now. Of plainly dangerous second. Catching over Hassel third. Then Opus Safari, last suspect. Pampalone flagship and Southern Spectrum. So the order is staying pretty much the same at the moment. Not much change. As they get to the next lead, I didn't jump that one particularly quickly though. But still on his feet. And still four clear. 
Now this next one, oh, there's a ditch there, you can see it's there, they get over it. Okay, that's everything in seasons. Into the plain one, it's over it well. A mistake again at the back for Southern Spectrum, that one doesn't appear to be enjoying the jumping game. And Civilian Seasons is the leader. If they take this next sharp turn, we're catching over Hassel now, just moved through into second. Plainly dangerous now, drop back into third. As last suspect moves upon the outside of that one, and then last Saf uh, Opus Safari, sorry, as they get over the next and. Pampalone flagship and Southern Spectrum are still the back two. You can see they're standing in the distance there. There's a there's a window on this side of it, so they can see this way, but there isn't one on the other side, so they can't see the other way. Maybe they don't need to look too far that way. Well, that's what it is. But anyway, they're coming down towards the fence that'll be the last of our next circuit. And over it they go, and now civilian seasons has been joined down in deep past by catching over Hassel and his stable mate Opus Safari who's crept right up into it, plainly dangerous is still there in fourth then last suspect is fifth as they pass the winning post, one more circuit to go then Pampalone flagship and Southern Spectrum so nothing's out of it yet really the Alex Cherry pair might have been struggling at the back but they're no more than ten lengths off the lead and they could still play every part in the finish here if they tidy up their jumping a little bit that is and it's catching over Hassel who's now gone on and takes that ditch well and gets away from it well in second Opus Safari, the long time leader, Sevillian Seasons, is now looking to be labouring. Plainly dangerous, looks like she needs about six miles rather than four. And then comes Last Suspect after that one, and Pampalone Flagship and Southern Spectrum are still the back two as they swing right handed again. Then and it's Cachanova Hassel in the lead. Opus Safari second, Plainly Dangerous third, Last Suspect fourth. Them four are probably going to fight it out, although the, the um, Alex Cherry horses are starting to get a bit closer. The one that looks like it's totally beaten now is the top weight civilian seasons. Over the next one they go and catching over Hassel. Got over it nicely in the lead. A length clear of Opus Safari in second. Gap of eight lengths then to Plainly Dangerous and Last Suspect. Gap of another five or six to Southern Spectrum, Pampalone Flagship and finally civilian seasons. Six furlongs to race and still plenty of jumps to take as they come to this next one. Then now which they take after the downhill run just slightly on the uphill. And over that one they go now Plainly dangerous has started to run on but it's catching over Hassel in the lead catching over Hassel is still three quarters of a length clear of Opus Safari plainly dangerous is now starting to eat up the ground then comes Last Suspect and I think we can forget the rest they come down towards the 25th fence it's surely going to come down to the jumping I think as the, we see the back markers over it, we'll get straight back to the next one as they take this ditch and catching over Hassel still in front from Opus Safari. Plainly dangerous and last suspect are beginning to close as they take the fourth from home and the leader didn't jump that one all that well. Get got away from it well though. As we see the back markers over it, there goes Savinian Seasons, but now stablemate Opus Safari has taken the lead. It's Opus Safari as they swing right handed, they've got three more to take. It's Opus Safari from catching over Hassel, then Last Suspect has moved well into third, plainly dangerous, he's back in fourth. They Greg only got two more fences to take now then, and it's Opus Safari on the inside. Nearest to us catching over Hassel, and Last Suspect has gone. They're winning third place, that's left plainly dangerous, clear in third. There's two furlongs to go, and just one more fence to take and surely this could be another one for Ryan Costello who's having a stellar week and it's Opus Safari in the lead from catching over Hassel in second long way back to plainly dangerous it's Opus Safari surely just going to jump it to win it with catching over Hassel back in second and he's over it nicely and he gets away from it well and this is going to be another one for Ryan Costello as they race it towards the line it's Opus Safari that takes it a pretty comfortable win. Opa Safari is the winner. Catching over Hassel is second. Uh, Pampalone flagship went on to steal third from Plainly Dangerous, who was fourth, and then a big, big gap back to Southern Spectrum, who was the last one to finish. So, the big question is would Last Suspect have got to them if he hadn't have fallen? I doubt it, to be honest. And Opa Safari, in off a good weight, takes that one pretty easily. So Opus Safari for Ryan Costello is the winner. Catching over Hassel, Thomas Rogers second. Pampalone flagship Alex Cherry was third. Plainly dangerous Martin Lydon was fourth. And Southern Spectrum for Alex Cherry was fifth.